Thanks for coming out. As the weekend winds down, thousands of New Yorkers continue to exercise their right to vote. Thank you for voting. The only way to get here is to wait in two, three, or sometimes four hour long lines. Some more prepared than others. I have a stool, I have a book I've been reading. Voters like Ed Budd say any wait is worth every minute. Whatever your decision is, but there's so much at stake for the people to have their choice. You'll make the wait a little bit more bearable. Joining yeah. these residents for the long haul, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, who's up for re election. AOC kicked off her vote at the Parkchester polling place, encouraging her constituents to cast a ballot before election day. I wanted to make sure that my vote was tallied the, the night that the polls closed, so I will wait two hours just like my neighbors are to make sure that that happens. In Manhattan, polling places were packed, including at Madison Square Garden, welcoming voters for the very first time. A historic process with an estimated 93,000 New Yorkers taking to the polls on day one of early voting and even more expected to round out day two. I'm hoping you'll be a new change. More unity, you know, Absolutely. not the chaos. New Yorkers are taking advantage of voting early with the goal of avoiding even longer lines on November 3rd and getting their ballots in as soon as possible. I'm looking for unity because I do think there are a lot of people whose voices haven't been heard. I'm looking for an end to racial strife and I'm looking for the lies to stop. Uh, job is the most important. A lot of people's out of job, and um, this virus needs to be taken care of. We got this. Come on. In the Bronx, Rebecca Solomon, Pix11 News.